Jags fans snatching up that last minute merchandise. Head to tomorrow's night's playoff game. At this little shop, you can find vintage Jaguars gear. The owner say sales have been booming over the past few weeks. He told News for Jax he's made $24,000 since the first of the year in sales, and there's a lot of demand. Our coverage begins now with the News for Jax reporter Khalil Maycock, who went to that shop in Riverside today. Khalil, he's selling the merchandise in an unusual location. Yeah, that man is selling it out of a room in a car shop, and he's selling that vintage gear, which looks similar to this. And he says because of those recent Jag wins and fans wanting to stand out, it's been selling like wild. You want to do card? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can just go ahead and tap. It's one of many transactions Michael Hogan, owner of the gallery Jacksonville. Thank you so much. We'll get it all bagged up for you. Has made this week. The tiny store is located inside of a car shop and consists of all vintage merchandise. I brought the Charlotte weather down with me, I guess. <laughs> Which Madison Reynolds traveled from Charlotte, North Carolina just to get, specifically to help her stand out from other Jags fans at tomorrow's game. It just makes it, you know, feel more a part of the team and like you've been around obviously a lot longer. Hogan says it's people who have the same mindset as Reynolds, which has made his vintage shop explode within the past few weeks. $24,000. That's how much money he's made since the first of the year in just sales. I'm gonna look extra cool for the game. Hey, you'll be warm. He says sales first started picking up when the Jags season started turning around. Before the clinch, you're talking like tees were like 45, 50 bucks. Crew next would be 45 to about 65 after the clinch to tees are maybe a hundred dollars crew necks are about 120 to 150 and hogan says to keep up with the demand of people wanting more vintage gear and other stores selling out of their items he's had to source his gear from as far away as australia and hogan says it's important for him to do that to make sure his clients remain happy i want to make sure it stays here and it doesn't get like flooded back out to the world I kind of want it just to be for the people who have been looking for this stuff for forever. That's all. Duval! And I did reach out to other local sports stores in the area to see what their Jags merchandise level is looking like. Sports Mania says they have cases of Jags gear left and they have some hats coming tomorrow. And then back to back, Jack says they have six jerseys left and those are all extra large and large. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Clil Maycock, Channel 4, the local station.